All right, everybody, I already um, wasted time on three other videos that didn't record audio. Uh, I sometimes have problems with that, especially when I've been screwing around with a guitar or something. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and, and be, be quick about this and kind of get it done in, in two, um, one maybe. So if you watch my unboxing video, you know I got the um, Agile um, Interceptor uh, 727 Rosewood Neck with the Cepheus pickups in tribal purple. Here it is. Uh, this is the least expensive model you can get. Uh, it's the bolt-on version. Uh, Floyd Rose Special uh, Tremolo says Floyd Rose on it. Uh, one volume, one tone, three-way toggle. Uh, reverse headstock with die-cast mini uh, Grover tuners on it. Uh, thin profile neck, no uh, markers. You do have side markers. Uh, Hardware is all black. Uh, top is quilt. Back is mahogany or whatever whatever it's made of. I, I didn't uh, I actually have it up right here. I can go to this exact one and uh, find out what the the, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a mahogany uh, body with a quilted maple top, which is what I thought. So the back is just purple mahogany, the top is quilted maple. Uh, these are passive pickups. Again, this is the cheapest Agile Interceptor 7-string 27-inch you can get on their site, Rondo Music. Um, I was pretty excited when I got this thing. I'm still excited. Before I go on here, I just want to say I do love the guitar. Um, it's it's becoming a little bit more part of me the more I, I mess with it and uh, play it. And I think it's going to be a useful tool. Uh, this is actually my second Agile. Uh, go back a couple of years in my videos and you'll see my AD2500 that I did a review on and my friend's AD2800 that I did a review on. Those guitars were of impeccable quality. Uh, really, really good. Um, they weren't they weren't the low end versions per se. Uh, so this is a low end version. Uh, again, the the cheapest model of this breed uh, that that you can get on the site. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and point out its two biggest faults, and then some cosmetic things. Um, and then uh, maybe I'll I'll talk about a couple of good things about it. So probably um, a really major fault is that um, I think they're trying to save money overall and use kind of the same necks on all the models and stuff. So the strings run really close to the edge of the fretboard. So you have to be very careful with your, with your, your trills and stuff because right there especially, uh, I can I can just pull the if I'm not careful I can pull the the string right off the fretboard so you gotta be you know you gotta be sure about how you make that D chord you gotta you gotta be good at, at making chords and not real sloppy with it um, or make your chords differently because now you have seven string and you can do that. That's probably the video I'm going to leave out, because it didn't go as well as I wanted anyway. Uh, so that that is pretty that is pretty major right there. I'm hoping that kind of as I play everything in, it'll uh, it'll iron itself out some. But these strings are are uh, if if it didn't have a Floyd on it, they would probably not be so close to the edge. But um, I think really what might have happened is that second fret, I think, may have just been a tad bit overdressed. Um, and that's not really something I can fix without adding a new fret. So, um, again, as long as I'm, as long as I'm good about, you know, hitting the strings the, the right way, it's not a problem. Um, so that's... That's it's that, that's one one problem, but again, uh, avoidable if you uh, just just maintain your 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 your, your good fretting. Um, 
the second second kind of big problem look at the neck pickup you can see that um, most of the strings uh, run relatively well over um, over the pole pieces some of them up here are a little little bit off but they're they're close right so the neck pickups pretty good but look at that bridge one um, the first two strings are barely even close to a uh, pole piece and even up to the uh, the third and fourth string are, are kind of um, not not where they should be either. Now it doesn't seem to be affecting things too much but I suspect that the sound might be a little bit better if, if they passed over those pole pieces more. And I suspect that the problem is that they're using the same pickups on all of the uh, all of the models, including the scepters that are standards based, not Floyd's based. So I'm pretty sure that's not an F spaced pickup. Um, if it were, it'd be a little bit wider. Um, so uh, that 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 that's kind of an issue. It's it's not it's not a big one, but you know, a lot of people would probably gripe about that. So it's important that I point it out. As far as functionality goes, those are its two um, two biggest problems. Um, of course, most guitars need a little fretwork these days. Uh, as far as the setup I had to do on it, the action is not like like the lowest in the world, uh, but it's low enough. It's comfortable enough. I'd say that's that's kind of low medium uh, action there. Um, I did have to adjust the truss rod a little bit. It was a little kind of buzzy up here, and still is, if you don't fret well. Um, so uh, I had to do a little truss rod adjustment, um, and that seemed to take care of a lot of the buzz. Um, otherwise, um, it's a pretty well playing guitar. I mean, it's as long as again you 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 know the instrument, um, you can avoid some of its little idiosyncrasies, um, and it really does help you with your fretting because you have to be you have to be more uh, careful uh, with with how you fret. Um, and again, I haven't played too many seven strings. I've set up a couple. Uh, all of them might be a little, they might all run a little close to the edges. Uh, I mean, they can only make these so, these necks so wide and make them playable still, so that's that. Um, cosmetic stuff. Uh, these guitars, I'm pretty sure they dip. And I think this thing only got dipped like yay deep, um, its last dip, because there are two visible lines and, and the the finish on these horns, not the top, but on the backs, is a little bit lighter than the rest of the, the back. So, uh, you can't, there's no way you're going to be able to see it, but it is there. Um, it's not that big a deal to me. Um, I just noticed it like an hour ago. Um, the, the, there's a little chip in there. Not not a bad one, but you know, it, it, there's a little chip in the well there. Like the the pots are a little noisy, and the knobs are a bit dirty with this white stuff. It's kind of crusty and flakes off, so it might be some kind of primer or something like that. Um. So yeah, uh, just just a couple of things. But again, this isn't one of their seven hundred dollar active pickup models. This is this is the this is the cheapest agile seven string and baritone you can get on the site. I mean they 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 make they they can make it cheap because they they skirt some quality I guess. Um but it is a good quality instrument aside from that. Those those couple of things. It does sound good regardless of the pickup issue. And I think these Cepheus pickups could sound worse. Um, they they sound okay. Um, what I'm really impressed with is this Floyd Rose Special. Uh, people tend to give them a hard time, but 
I've used mainly licensed Floyds, and I really like this trim. It stays in tune very well and, and everything. Um, you know, I'm not sure how in tune I am right now, but that sounds pretty good. I'm gonna... There's a pull-up. I haven't dived, re -dived the bar or anything, so... And it's still in tune, so... Dive it. I mean, it's... It's, it's a good trim. It's a, a good trim system. Um, the, the, the bolt holes in back could be a little, a little nicer, um, they're, they're a little cruddy too. I'm sure that a lot of this is going to wear off of the guitar as I play it and stuff, but just right now it's, um, it's a little new and, and has some, some stuff going on. Um, so yeah, I, I, I do overall like the instrument. Um, I think you could probably go with one of the Douglases, uh, the Douglas Hadrons or whatever, and get comparable quality. Um, I didn't like the slimmer, the idea of a slimmer neck on the scopes, so that's why I didn't go scope. I have a six-string Douglas that that eh, is is all right, so I, uh, I I just wanted another Agile, and, and here it is. But really, um, when you get down to it, it is a it is a very nice instrument. Um, and I haven't really seen a review of this cheap model. Most people get the real schwank one. So uh, I don't consider $380 cheap, really. Um, but it, it's the cheapest one. Um, neck neck is uh, neck is pretty slim. It could be slimmer, but um, it's probably not any bigger than a Schecter or something like that. Uh, Schecters have, are reported to be pretty beefy. I don't have very big hands, and, and I can... I could play play this thing okay. Um, you'll notice the foam pad sticks out real bad around this strap button here as well, and that strap button's not screwed in much, so it's possible that that could come loose in a, a future date, but there are other places that you could relocate it if that does happen, so... Did not get a strap or case with it. Uh, the Grover tuners are really nice. Um, and it, it is serialed, it is made in South Korea. This one's A27520, so not a recent model, uh, or not a recent, not, a, not an early uh, run of it, but, you know. I have one within the first 30,000, so that's, that's kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. I, I cut that down pretty, pretty well. And again, um, these Floyd Rose specials are better than people let on. Uh, there's also no no play in that bar, um, like like most licensed drums. It's it's solid. It's screwed in there, and it's like it doesn't play much at all. Anyway, um, I hope that I hope that's that that's a good enough review, and it helps out. So there you are. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Hopefully this one recorded audio, so. Good night. Uh, I'll probably see you guys in a few days. Uh, start work tomorrow again, so. I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put effort into that for a few days, and then put effort into other things over my days off. It seems to be working so far. Have a good night, everybody.